this video is going to be on a spear, is it a spirometer, a spearometer? This is a breathing thing. It's like an exerciser for your lungs. I don't have lung problems. I do have uh, a deviated septum and my sinuses clog up a lot. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. When I went to the doctor last year for the flu, they checked my lung capacity and they said I was the best person in there for the whole day. They, my numbers went way, way, way above everybody else and I had no problems. But I do notice that uh, sometimes, depending on the season, that I will, my nostrils clog up. My, it just feels like, not my lungs are congested, but I'm not getting enough air and I'm not getting the, the, the capacity doesn't seem right. So now that we're dealing with the shutdown, the lockdown, the LA lockdown, the California lockdown, the uh, coronavirus, the COVID-19, COVID I thought, why not? Uh, maybe I can exercise my lungs a little bit and we, we all work out doing other exercises. Why not try to take care of your lungs a little bit? <clears throat> Most people don't buy these until they get them from the doctor because they are in serious trouble and they need them. So better to have it now and practice. It says keep indicator between arrows. I don't know how this gets adjusted. I don't really know if that's user adjusted. We have readings over here. Um, I bought this online from Target. I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the video description to buy this on Amazon. So if you buy it on Amazon and you click on the link, it will help me. If you're not going to buy it, but you order from Amazon anyway. If you click on that link before you pop in your order, it will definitely help me out. I'll get a few cents from Amazon. Uh, this has got really big uh, writing, which good for me. Not that I need it, but it's got big writing. It's got an adjustable thing over here. Most of them have the same thing. It's got an adjustable thing so that you can uh, set it where you need it. I don't know if you, if, if you have a brain, you probably don't need to put this where you want to get it to. It's got a handle. has a little piece over there, I guess. Well, well almost dropped that. A little piece over there is that supposed to be to hold the mouthpiece. I don't know how that goes in there. Um, I'm not sure that I want to ruin it and put it in there. On the front we have this, it comes with this tube, expandable tube, so you stretch it out. I'm going to put it on the front over here, the front fitting. It slides on easily. Keep indicator between arrows. I don't know what that does. Maybe that's, I don't know what this piece is for yet. Really, in no way, there, there's nothing in here except for this. I don't know, what is, what's in here? Is this cork? Or is that plastic? I don't know what that material is in there. I don't know if it would get ruined. I would not share this. You never want to share breathing apparatus or mouth, mouth things with anybody that's not wise. Um, so I would not share this. I don't know if this is capable of being clean. You could probably spray it down with, uh, what is that, um, vinegar. A lot of people use vinegar when they're using their CPAP machines to do a cleaning, so not saying it would clean all the bacteria, but probably worth cleaning on occasion. And try to keep it away from this little mouthpiece over here. You just do a little spraying, take the tube off maybe and clean it. Yeah, you know, they're not really that expensive. These are most of these run about ten, twelve dollars. Some of them maybe eight, ten or twelve bucks. Uh, some of them that have three balls in there, and uh, you can blow into them and check your lung capacity going in and out. Those come apart, and you can wash them and clean them. So it comes with uh, the mouthpiece. We have some instructions over here. It's the volume indicator, which is this piece over here, the volume indicator. Uh, this little plastic piece I showed you that slides up and down, that's the target if you want to set it to wherever you want to set it to or you want to track what you did last time. I showed you the mouthpiece support up on the top, which I'm not going to use. Double-sided markings, yeah, they're really big. And on this one, they are on both sides. I don't think it really matters, but they this is marketed as if you're doing it at home or if you don't know what you're doing, the doctor, or the nurse, or whoever's helping you can see the numbers if you can't see them while you're blowing into it. Or you could sit in front of a mirror and see it in the reflection. 
let's see, this says flow rate guide. I don't know what this is. And then we have a chart over here, depending on your age. Age, uh, this starts at 20 and goes to 80. And male, you get for male and female. So I don't know what the different charts are. I don't know what the 58 and 60, I'm not really sure what this means. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know. So I'm going to test this out. It's not going to be a long video, but... Help me out, do that thumbs up, subscribe, the comment, all that other cool stuff. So what you're supposed to do, let me get you the instructions over here. So yeah, you can do what you want pretty much because it's your test and you're doing it the way you want to. Um, instructions. So you expand the tube by pulling it out, slide the target, put the, the little sliding blue thing I showed you. Exhale completely and then close your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Can you say that on here? Okay, close your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Inhale slowly, keeping the flow rate guide between the arrows. I'm not going to be able to, well, I might be able to see it, I don't know. So you exhale completely. <clears throat> you inhale slowly, keeping the flow rate guide between the arrows. When you can't inhale, did I say inhale? When you can't inhale anymore, you hold your breath for six seconds. That's going to be rough for me, no doubt. And note the highest level the top indicator has reached. Try to achieve your prescribed volume. Exhale slowly and allow the volume indicator to return to the bottom of the column. Okay, this is going to be rough. I'm going to do that online. I'm do that live for everybody so you can see. I'd really like to get on the floor make it a little easier for me so I'm gonna get down below the camera eye. Oh. So what did it say? It said exhale and put this in your mouth and tighten your lips around it. Woo. Inhale slowly, keep, that's the hard part is the inhale slowly because most of us don't want to inhale slowly. With me, I don't inhale fully. I don't fill my lungs with a lot of air. So I kind of hyperventilate as I breathe unless I'm aware of it, and when I try to breathe fully, then my lungs go, oh my gosh, this is a lot of air, but <coughs> um, let's try it and see what we get. Let me get some breathing first, because I might get a little nervous and tense and stressed out. Are you supposed to exhale? I think I got up to like 3,000. What did it say? Inhale, exhale, inhale slowly, keeping the flow rise. Oh, keeping it between the guides. That's the part when you can't inhale anymore, hold your breath for six seconds, and note the highest reading. That's, I, I guess you're supposed to hold, you're supposed to have enough suction on this that it doesn't drop down. I don't know. I think I got somewhere around 3,000. Let's. And I don't, I don't know what happened with this. I'll have to look at the video later. Oh my God, I didn't exhale slowly. And the first time was a lot easier than this time. The first time it just went right up. This time it only went to yeah, that is really using the lungs, and not that this is going to save you from a lung problem, but a lot of people right now that are ending up with this, uh, this virus are doing breathing exercises at home to try to keep themselves off the ventilators. Not that it's going to matter, but definitely something. It's not expensive. It's something good to have at home just to, uh, to work on to develop your lungs. Hopefully, I'll keep this out and I'll use it on a regular basis. Let me breathe in normally now and see what I if I notice a difference. Now nah, it kind of feels like my throat's tightening up a little bit. My lungs don't want to take in all that air because I'm just not used to it. So I'm going to try this one more time. We'll try it one more time and see what we're at. 
You do regular breathing. And I noticed that this thing went up that this time. I don't know. You're supposed to keep it between the arrows. Yikes. And you're supposed to you're supposed to note your reading. I don't think once the suction's gone, there's no way that this is gonna stay up. Especially when you're holding your breath for six seconds. One last try. If I did my nose spray, there would be a, a, a remarkable difference in no time. In fact, I'm going to do that. Hold on. I shouldn't be doing that, but I'm going to do it. It's not going to work that fast, but I'm going to do it anyway and see if I can notice a fraction of a difference. It takes a lot longer than a few seconds for this to work, but my body reacts really quick. So, I just did the the uh, cortisone. Well, it's not cortisone. The uh, if you want to know what it is, it's over the counter stuff. But uh, let's see if it makes a difference. Nostrils are opening up. There's another thing that I use sometimes for my breathing. It's an allergy thing, and it just opens my feels like it opens up the chest, and I can take in massive amounts of air immediately. Let's try this one last time, and then we'll end the video. Yeah, I'm already breathing better. I'm not sure it's gonna make a difference on here. Sorry about that gross sound, trying to get that stuff out of the throat. Here we go. You can hear it now, the breathing's going, well, I, I can hear it, okay. Here we go. Yikes. I just couldn't hold the <laughs> I couldn't hold the air anymore. The first time I did this, this was so easy to do. Right now, I'm just like, what in the world? Yowie kazowie. Okay, so let's try this one last time. It's on the table. Might be a little easier for me to do. I got it up to 3,000. See, that's the problem that I have is that when the lungs get filled with a lot of air, they're going like, yikes, that's a lot of air. 3,000, let me go look on the chart. Let's see where, did I get a 3,000 or 3,500? I don't even know. Let me try this one last time. The goal, let's try to get to 3,500. But the whole thing is that I should be able to hold it for six seconds. That's the, capa the lung capacity. But... Yeah, like I told you, I went to the doctor for the flu thing, and they said my lungs were really good for my age, and just in general, my lungs were taken in air, and they see people all day long with COPD and lung problems, And but I need some work on this, no doubt. <sighs> I got to the middle, I got to 2750, and I just can't hold it in. That doesn't sound right. Okay, 2750. I see they don't break it down on the chart what these numbers mean. They don't they don't say I don't know what the 58 degree predictive age height. Oh, is that height? Age to height. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's height. That's height in inches. Why are they doing a little number after? Oh, I got a bug that flew in. Um, let me check my age, my my height. Um, 12, 24, 48, or 9, 7. Okay, so that, and I'm looking at the chart right now with my height. My height, wow, that is freaky. That is absolutely freaky. It says for my age and height, I should be a 2750. And I just told you I was a 2750. Now, let me see. Let's go to somebody who's 20 years old. Somebody who's 20 years old and uh, not tall should be a 2350, so their lungs, um, it, it's really all based, I guess, on height. Um, okay, so for my height, I'm almost in the middle of where I should be. Um, if I was 80 years old, I should be a 2550 and I'm not there, 
And if I was 20 years old, I should be at 3,050. So, um, yeah, so I'm doing okay. Let me try it one last time. 2750 was over here. We want to get above 2750 to finish off this video. Everybody support my channel, please. Here we go. Okay. What would really be good is to take that allergy thing to clear out my lungs right now and then see if I get a better reading. But I don't want to mess with that because it makes me kind of tired. Here we go, people. Saturate the lungs with air. Much better. Now I'm breathing in much better. I'm blowing through. I don't know. I know one of the things they want to help the lungs get better developed is you blow with a pursed lip with the pursed lips and you blow out. When you can't inhale anymore, hold your breath for six seconds and note the highest volume. Oh, the highest volume. There's okay, so see now if it said when you can't inhale anymore, look at the volume, but it says hold your breath for six seconds and then, no then note it, by then it's already dropped all the way down. Um, exhale slowly to allow the volume indicator to return to the bottom of the column. It's already down by then. Repeat three to six times. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so I did a lot better. I think I went to 3,000, which would mean that I was uh, like 20 years old. Let's try this one. Nobody's gonna get to 4,000. <clears throat> The first time I did this, this was really easy. It just jumped up there. Now it's not jumping up. I don't know why. And what I did then is I was exhaling, exhaling, and it's harder to exhale when you're going through this thing, so it's probably helping the lungs out when you're doing that. I know that I want, I don't even remember what I want. I think I want over 3,000, maybe 3,500, I don't know. Let's do it one more, one time. This time I'm going to pay attention. So the instructions say blow into this thing, get it up to the reading, hold, wait for six seconds, and then measure where it is. There's no way, because the minute you take the pressure off of Maybe that's the whole thing is they want you to have constant exhaling pressure or no, you're inhaling. There's, there's, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. One last time. I want to turn that a little bit more, a little comfortable. Okay. I think it went over like close to 3,500, maybe 3,300, which would be the lungs of a 20-year-old. But that's a, assuming I'm doing it right. I don't see how you can keep this thing from moving, even with your lung it, with the lung pressure. I, it just drops immediately. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Okay, so I looked at six, I counted six, and at six it was at 20, 2250. 2250, if I'm using those instructions, would mean <clears throat> that 2250 would mean that, um, am I not even alive? Yes, I don't really know. I think. Uh, for the females, the lung capacity is a lot smaller. But this is a pretty cool little thing. Something to have uh, on the sofa with you 
when you're on a date and she says, oh, honey, you're so awesome. I really love you. And you say, hold on, I need to do my breathing, <laughs> my breathing exercises. Here we go, people. Again, I bought this online from Targato, but I am going to leave an Amazon link. So just go online, do a search, find out what you want to buy. You know, they're all pretty much the same. They've got this mouthpiece. Um, they've got different scales. Uh, this one goes to 4,000. I'm never going to get to 4,000. This has got nice printing over here. It's got a little carrying handle and a mouth holder that I'm not going to use. And uh, stay healthy, you know, mask up and take care of your lungs and take care of your body and eat better, lose that weight. That's the biggest problem everybody's having. Yeah, every, most of the people that are not surviving this, not all, but most, have pre-existing conditions, which are diabetes. You get diabetes from a rotten diet, not always, but most of the time, from being overweight. You have lung problems from, um, you might just have lung problems because you have lung problems. It's not all the time, uh, th there might not be a reason. If you're smoking, if you're vaping, you're a fool to be doing that and you're gonna suffer either now or later in life, so stop doing that. And um, stop eating that greasy food that, if you want it, seriously, I, I've changed my diet, I just lost 24 pounds in the last four months. Go online and do a search of what eating meat does to your body, You'd, you would be shocked. Even though everybody says you gotta have protein, no, that's pushed by the meat industry. Do a search on what meat does to your body, what it does to your heart, do a search on what dairy does to your heart, how much stress your heart goes under after you drink dairy, just to be able to digest and process it. It puts massive stress on the heart, on the arteries. Um, what else is there? Eggs. Eggs are kind of scary. Everybody says you gotta eat eggs, they're healthy, they're filled with protein. If a man has prostate cancer and he eats three eggs a, a week, his odds of dying from advanced prostate cancer go up substantially just because of three eggs. So I know we love our ice cream, we love our pizza, we love our burritos and junk food until you get a little bit older and you end up in the hospital and you find out you're gonna suffer the last five years of your life and you're not gonna make it. Um, so this is a really cool item to get, but stay healthy, take care of yourself, take care of your lungs, take care of your breathing and stay well. And hopefully we'll all survive this till the vaccine. <laughs> Thanks for watching.